We're here in Lake Capacitor City, Arizona for the first round of works racing brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. It's been a rough start to the year, man. I usually build new cars and I didn't get cars in time to build them. Still don't have my new cars yet. And so I usually like going out with fresh iron. I'm kind of down on, on that and, uh, you know, scrounging around for some parts. It's been tough with the COVID. There's been a shortage of everything, you know? So the dealer, I mean, not even the dealer, the manufacturers can't get the cars out and the, and the parts also. So it's been really tough, you know, especially starting at the beginning of January. You know, so just just happy to make it here and get here and be able to, you know, to compete and also be able to do something, you know, without a mask on. New year, new, uh, well, same car. I'm getting a new car built, but it's not ready yet. So uh, we're ripping the old car from last year. I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I actually won here last year, so confidence is, uh, is good. I felt good yesterday. Um, practice went well. I'm excited to get things rolling for, uh, for 21 and hopefully, you know, have a few wins this season. my line and, and kept going and me and Bo just kind of did zigzag. I was roosting him. I think he was getting sick of the roost so he kind of backed off and uh, we ended up 1-2 but it was a great battle and um, yeah just happy to start the year off right and we'll see if we can do the same thing tomorrow. Behind Davey the whole race and just getting plowed. I mean the track was pretty or the, the you know the track was pretty train track rut like all the way around the course so it was like I'd just go like this get roosted real bad or make a mistake because I couldn't see. I'd move come back and then I put on a charge through some corners and then I'd catch back up to them and then I couldn't see and I'd drop into a rut or something and do something funky because I could basically can't see and then just drop back again. It was like this the whole race. Finished right on his bumper and you know, it is what it is. I really made it to the line, got up to, uh, got up into third and just kind of cruised around. I was having issues with power steering. Uh, we, we added a new quickener this year because I thought it made me be a little bit easier with my hand controls. Um, but it kept, it was kind of underpowered, I think, and every time I hit a like, really nasty G out or something, it would, it would uh, kill the power steering. So I kept having to stop, turn the car off, turn it back on, and reset, reset it. So we didn't have time to uh, get a kill or a switch to uh, relay it all or shut off switch for the power steering. And uh, yeah, just been, it's been a hard time getting here. The car got wrapped on 
Thursday night. We got here at 3 in the morning and did a little bit of practice on Friday, but we had a lot of issues, so just glad to be on the podium school. <laughs> Yeah, this year I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, we did a lot of changes to the car. We got some new sponsors, so um, we're putting a lot into our program, and we're going to definitely make a run for the championship this year. So consistency is key. I think we have a good program to put it together. So that's going to be the uh, name of the game today is just make it through it, hopefully get a podium out of it, and then set up for round two and so on. So that lagoon jump like we were talking about, it's gnarly. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to hit it. I didn't think it was possible. I came through the first lap and uh, I was like, I could literally see the landing from the run up. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. And then uh, my spotter and my girlfriend told me that uh, David Hagner just sent it. I was like, all right, well, we're going to, we're going to hit it for sure then. So on lap two, I came around and uh, just railed the outside to earn and I ended up sending it to flat. So I over jumped it. So it's pretty easy. Um, it's I don't feel like it's going to be a problem throughout the race. I hope everybody else is still scared so I can make up some time because this saves you like 10 seconds a lap, so it's going to be huge out there. A little less time on the track today as far as other riders in general, so the track shouldn't be as rough for that pro production race. How do you think that's going to play out? A little faster speeds, maybe not as many broken parts? Yeah, I think Well, today with the turbo cars, they're so much faster that the track's going to break down faster during our race, but I think it's going to start out smoother. The pace is going to be high uh, at the beginning for sure. There's a lot of competition. Uh, Lagoon jumps coming into play today, and no one was really hitting in the stock cars, but it's definitely going to be used today. So um, there's going to be some strategies that people are going to use with that because uh, that lift's definitely going to break down. And so uh, just seeing how comfortable people are with hitting that jump and uh, making up time there, making up passes. So it's a tight track, so that's kind of the only place to pass. So I think it's going to going to be an all-out battle for most of the race just because there's so many people that a bunch of people can break and there's still a lot of fast guys racing. Of course. Well, I can't wait to see how it plays out. Thanks Sweet. for talking to me, man. Thank you.
Bow Baron was back there a little bit, Hancock, so I just kind of ran my pace and was able to cross the finish line first. It feels really good for the very first round. Start start on the front row for the next round. I haven't since I've been racing this series. I've never been able to start. I've always had bad first races. So this, this is good for Can Am and No Limit, EFT Method Race Wheels, Sparko Racing, Aim, uh, George White from Double E Racing. Really have my suspension working good this weekend. Um, yeah, it was just it was a good weekend and uh, super pumped on the weekend. Well, it's a wrap on our first race for our 2021 work season. Brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. In pro production, we had Bo Judge taking the top spot, Bo Barron in second, Matt Hancock right there in third. All those boys took off, got some points. Will they bring that momentum into the next one? Who knows? You gotta stay tuned to find out. Uh -huh.